The man is recovering in the hospital after he was seen waving a knife and stabbing himself before he was shot by Jacksonville officers in the San Marco area. JSO says the man is in critical condition, but he's expected to survive. It happened around 2.15 p.m. near the intersection of Beloit Place and Atlantic Boulevard. One of our photojournalists was a witness to the incident. News for Jack's reporter Alicia Hatcher has been following this story, and she joins us live in the studio. Alicia, what is JSO's protocol for when officers should fire their weapon? Janice, officers trained to have a re reactionary gap where once someone is 25 feet away from them with an edge weapon, they could harm the officer before the officer can defend themselves. Also in situations like these, officers can escalate to use their guns right away, according to JSO Chief of Investigations, Alan Parker. A man is in the hospital after police say he stabbed himself before getting shot by an officer. According to JSO, when officers first arrived, they couldn't find the man with the knife until a witness pointed them to the area. Officers eventually found the man sitting in a yard at an intersection. When they pulled into the area, the man stood up and walked toward them, raising a knife over his head. The officers yelled at the man to drop his knife several times, but he didn't. Both officers reacted, one using his taser and the other shooting his firearm, hitting the man in the thigh. The man was taken to the hospital. We spoke to one of our photographers who witnessed the incident. What was going through your mind seeing all of this? Um, I don't know. It was pretty crazy. I've never experienced anything like that before. Never been like, I think I was the sole witness of the actual shooting. But I don't know, I was kind of shook up. There's a lot of adrenaline rushing through my body. It's pretty crazy. He says he's just glad things did not get out of hand. I'm just really thankful the guy was not... He did not attempt to hurt anybody else because, again, his knife was huge. And if he had went after people, he could have easily done a lot of damage. So I'm just thankful no one else was hurt. Police tell us that the man has been Baker acted three times. Because of that, we are not identifying him. Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, mm. the local station.